there are certain things that like when you get to certain levels you do just don't have as much control over your own life anymore and I've always said that I'd like my voice to matter so you've got to keep that level of profile but I don't want anybody to I don't want to be relevant enough that people care who I'm dating <laughs> I don't want any of that. You know what? Like, I don't want that. I don't want people to care what I'm wearing when I walk down the street. I'm not quiet. I'm not shy. I'm definitely relatively reserved. It's been quite an adjustment and there's always an expectation that you've got to be big and loud and everything. And I'm like, oh my God, I just wanted to run fast, please, please, please. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to have to do this. Sometimes when you're a public figure, there are so many things about you. So many people have opinions on you and have never met you. <laughs> and people don't know the whole story and they form very concrete opinions of relatively very little information. You can't take those opinions to heart really. It's very important that as a person, you have very clear boundaries. It's definitely something that I'm still adjusting to and still finding ways that I can achieve that, but on my terms. Often in sport, there's little space for vulnerability. Particularly as an athlete, you see what your friends are going through behind the scenes, the story they have, the trials and tribulations that they've had to do to get to this point. And so much of it is so inspirational. I don't think it's something that people should be afraid to talk about and be open with how it affects them. Because at the end of the day, if you're an athlete and you're trying to be the best you can be, then you have to really be open and you have to really explain and be transparent with what's going on there so you can improve. And that includes periods. So particularly when it comes to sport, which is such a male dominated environment. It is a taboo. Some people get heavy legs. It's such an unfortunate symptom to have on your period. Please tell me as an athlete, how are you meant to jump with heavy legs? <laughs> how are you meant to, how are you meant to do that? And I think that there should be more of a space for mobility. We're not robots or machines. this summer it was actually my most challenging season to date and it was very funny because it wasn't a physical challenge at all my body is in a fantastic place last year with a lot of stuff that was just happening in my life off track like bereavements and stuff like that it was so tough and everybody kept telling me please don't underestimate the effect of grief and me being a chronic overachiever it's like I understand but I can work through this my physical capacity is completely that. It's just right now, life's just really life in me. <laughs> it's really life in me and I'm doing my best. I'm working hard, but this is something that time, I need time for. Time is, I don't have much time, <laughs> but with time, it'll be okay. But often it's hard to explain your internal state, I think, because also it's private. I think that that's a very, yeah, interesting distinction. I remember I was heartbroken to have come fourth of 83. I just wanted a medal. I wanted a medal in the 100. I wanted it, like I wanted it, I wanted it, I wanted it. I was so upset, so upset to have come fourth from lane eight. I was like, think about how far you've come to be running these times. You've done your best series ever at a Worlds, but you're still gutted. And that moment I was like, make peace with it. You're in great shape. Let's go for the two. But you can't run with just this, oh, I'm disappointed, oh, this, because oh, that energy doesn't produce the best that you can be. Like you need to just be focused. There's no way in hell that I'm getting on the plane without an individual medal. And so I was incredibly happy with the bronze. My coach is John Blackie. He's known me since I was eight years old and he's been coaching me for more or less ever. <laughs> yeah. John's amazing. John is definitely somebody who I can tell absolutely everything to. Our relationship is really, really good and I'm really grateful for somebody like him to be in my life. Coming into another World Championships year, an Olympic year, and we decided, like me and my family decided, it's like, you know what, we need a break a proper recharge so you can really attack the next two years from a very good, relaxed, calm mental space. And if that means staying in bed for an extra hour, if that means going on an aimless walk, if that means lying on a sunbed, then so be it. I never, ever in my life anticipated that I would, for example, go to holiday and I'd land at the airport and people rush up to you and be like, you're Dina. And it's like, I am. <laughs> I never thought about that. Did I think that I was gonna be world champion? Absolutely. Did I understand that that was gonna mean like 
if I land in a foreign country, people are gonna run up to me and be like, hi. No, I've just always wanted to be the best and I've always wanted to not necessarily be famous. Media, public eye, you know, they ask you about your targets and when people have big targets, they scoff and they look at you like you're crazy. And sometimes you just don't need that you know what you're capable of and other people's fears and projections shouldn't actually allow you to dictate your own limit. Your targets might be more mental than physical, so they might be more, you know, personal in that regard. And sometimes it's just nobody's business. <laughs> Privacy is essential to me, I think, particularly when you're somebody who's front-facing for their job. I'm very careful with who I choose to share stuff with. There was a period where loads of people in athletics, loads of sportswomen particularly, like all around, they all got hacked. If I lose my phone, I lose everything. Everybody has a right to privacy. It doesn't mean you're hiding anything. It doesn't mean there's a secret, but it's just, you know, some things aren't for everyone. <laughs> some things just are your business alone.